another major stumbling block has been on actually putting the armed forces into cantonment sites so that they can be registered uh, for purposes of reintegration into the uh, SPLA, the, the, uh, the military, uh, or for uh, demobilization. And uh, there have been disagreements as to whether uh, opposition forces uh, can be cantoned in areas that were outside the main areas of fighting. Uh, and again, the uh, inability to come to a final agreement on that has resulted in a number of clashes, including a very serious clash uh, a few days ago in Wau, in western Bara Ghazal, uh, where uh, over 75,000 people were displaced um, as a result of the fighting. And this is one of the really s sad things about uh, after the initial uh, two or three months of the conflict that started in December 2013, uh, it really has been civilians who have been the major t uh, targets of fighting. Uh, they have been displaced. Uh, over two million are displaced uh, in the country or as refugees. Uh, as a result of a complete breakdown uh, of the economy over the fighting, uh, almost half the population is in need of humanitarian assistance. Uh, and so there's a, a humanitarian disaster underway. Uh, there's also a collapse of the economy underway. Uh, the country is facing 300 percent inflation and rising. Uh, the South Sudanese pound continues to depreciate on an almost daily basis. Um, and they've called in the IMF for advice. Uh, and we very much hope the government will, will follow that advice to try to, to stabilize the economy. Mm -hmm. um, there have also been allegations that some of the uh, uh, elements of the peace agreement have not been able to be implemented uh, because there's no money coming from foreign donors. And I would just like to take this opportunity to, uh, to refute that. Uh, there is uh, money that has been provided for the institutions that are working. Uh, for the Joint Monitoring and Evaluation Commission, which is very ably headed by uh, former President uh, Festus Mohai, uh, whose responsibility under the peace agreement is to monitor its implementation and then to work with the South Sudanese to overcome obstacles, and if th they can't overcome them, to report then to the African Union and to the UN Security Council. Um, and so he has a very difficult job uh, in trying to, to move the implementation of the agreement forward. Um, but there's also uh, funding that we've provided for the CTSAM, which is the ceasefire uh, monitoring mission, uh, which the government has not allowed to work in many parts of the country, uh, which is a real problem. Um, and uh, there is also funding available for implementation of many other parts of the agreement. But the South Sudanese actually have to show that they are serious about, about implementing it. So just to give you one example, uh, the security of the capital city of Juba for the a peace agreement was to be handled by a group called the Joint Integrated Police. Um, and while the opposition has sent their uh, recruits for the Joint Police uh, to a training center, uh, the government, uh, the uh, President Kier's uh, faction, has not uh, sent their people. Um, and so they haven't been able to be trained and formed into units and then deployed in Juba. Um, and this means that the Juba is now becoming uh, increasingly uh, armed camps of separately of the opposition uh, and, and the government. So the whole notion that the parties have to work together as a transitional government of national unity, and we really need to stress national unity, uh, that is the real challenge that they face. Um, there is still a uh, uh, working, if you will, almost as separate camps. Um, uh, trying f to, rather than working as, as, a, as a national unity government. One example of this is uh, in looking at the, uh, the recommendations made by the IMF and in developing a budget. Uh, instead of sitting down together, all of the different factions, uh, the opposition insisted on doing their own response to this. And then they want to negotiate that with the other parts of the transitional government. That type of approach is not at all constructive. The country needs to move much more quickly. Uh, to address these, these very serious security, economic, humanitarian uh, issues.